Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we're going to be looking at some Jewish tunnels today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's a pretty wild thing to start the video off with, but of course, as some of you may know, there's been a developing situation in the last less than 24 hours, I would say 12 hours, of a scenario where a pretty prominent synagogue in New York, the Brooklyn area, actually had what appears to be an illegal 50-foot tunnel burrowed within it connecting buildings together. So, uh, obviously, this is a matter of serious public safety issues. When you're, you know, developing tunnels without the proper, you know, codes, without the proper practices, sometimes those tunnels can cave in. A lot of times, they absolutely could. And usually, when cave-ins happen, people can, in fact, die. But again, I'm getting way too ahead of myself, okay? So this whole situation started off with basically a chaotic scene at a Chabad headquarters in Crown Heights. That is Brooklyn, New York after Mosherim ripped wooden panels to prevent a cement truck from sealing off the recently discovered tunnels. Now, I have to make sure what a Mosherim was, and according to the actual definition, it appears that they are a young, unmarried youth. So, younger individuals. That's uh, what it is in Jewish youth, okay? That's, that's what it comes down to. So, I'm going to play some of these clips here, and we're going to get started, rip the Band-Aid off, and see just exactly what's going on. <laughs> What are they doing over there? They're just chilling inside what appears to be a tunnel, ladies and gentlemen, a little hidden area of the actual, uh, the, the actual, um, you know, uh, syn uh, the actual synagogue. And here they're actually like ripping down the paneling, which exposed that tunnel we saw earlier. And this is from like the women's side of the actual, uh, you know, synagogue. So obviously, uh, this was apparently, according to the From TikTok account, which by the way is like the uh, best of From Orthodox Jewish uh, TikTok. Did not know that was the referral, but again, they said that it was apparently to prevent a cement truck from sealing off the recently discovered tunnels. So again, the New York Police Department came in and just to fix up the situation, they were obviously going to just cake this entire thing in cement and restore what I believe personally to be structural integrity to this building or the sets of buildings. So again, I wonder why there isn't exactly, there probably should be some forensic investigation as to why tunnels were created, uh, for what specific reason. I mean, it should just be more than connecting buildings together. The NYPD had brought in like a cement truck and they were basically trying to cake the entire thing in. I assume, I assume personally to restore some structural integrity to uh, what to 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 uh, to an to an illicit tunnel, to an illegal tunnel. At the end of the day, this is an illegal tunnel. Okay. So, uh, again, this situation devolved into some seriously tense situations where the NYPD was basically going up against actual, uh, you know, parishioners of this religious establishment. <laughs> Dog, that is a big, big foot. That is a massive entrance to the tunnel there. Jesus Christ. That was hidden behind here? My Lord. Now, obviously, I don't think this took like, you know, uh, this couldn't have just been done covertly. I mean, if it was, my God, they were pretty quiet in doing this, especially in what appears to be a pretty residential, like a pretty, pretty filled neighborhood, so to speak, too. And again, you can even see a New York police officer discussing this with one of the actual, uh, you know, uh, uh, re religious goers here too, so listen to this one. And and to why we need to expand something. You got it not like this. We don't do that in America. Immovable force versus immovable force. NYPD versus <laughs> versus the versus the shul here. Now, of course, uh, to understand, obviously, this tunnel is, as you can see right there, with the homie standing there, isn't exactly very legal. And obviously, the NYPD and obviously the city of New York has a responsibility and a proper reason to just cement this thing up because, again, it can pose some serious threats and dangers. 
And I assume like the uh, people that are going here are pretty up in arms just because it is a religious establishment. I mean, you know, if you walk into a mosque or something and you start acting like this, I'm pretty sure the people there are going to be pretty pissed at a, at, a, at, a, at a establishment of theirs that holds a lot of weight in the community. Same with a church, same with a temple, uh, same with any type of religious establishment, right? And again, where it gets really wild is when there's pushing and shoving going on with the NYPD. Dog, you do not beef with the New York Police Department. Jesus Christ, man. Come on now. You know, the, 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 the people here are being really ballsy with the police force. The NYPD is not known to be a nice organization, especially when it comes with uh, pushbacks like that, so to speak. And to show you that it wasn't exactly all that simple, there was actually, like, apparently some arrests. Ten arrests with a scuffle that happened with the NYPD. So this is evolving into a full-out brawl at this point, and of course, obviously there's going to be some arrests that are made. Like, that's not even a joke here. Like, you can't be doing this to law enforcement agents who actually have a valid reason to plug up a structurally, uh, you know, uh, unchecked hole, so to speak. Now, again, I'm talking about this hole a lot, and you might be wondering, Muda, where's the footage from inside the hole, so to speak? And apparently, according to from TikTok here, this is the footage of the tunnel that was dug from an abandoned men's mikvah, which is a ritual bathhouse, into the 770 Chabad headquarters. So a mikvah, or mikvah, whatever the pronunciation is, I'm not Jewish, obviously, uh, it actually says pronounced mikvah, so I was right in the first one. Uh, almost every Jewish community has at least one mikvah where uh, you can search for what it is. And again, why immerse it? Jewish law requires that one immerse in a mikvah is part of the process of conversion to Judaism. It also requires women to immerse before getting married and when observing the laws of Nida. There are also various other reasons, both traditional and modern, that women as well as men and Jews who are gender nonconforming visit the mikvah. So uh, it feels, it sounds more like a baptism almost over here. Now, if you can actually see, this is a Google Earth representation of the Chabad house and the Chabad Lubavitch World Headquarters, which is where this entire situation was going on. So these sets of buildings, if you're looking around real carefully, why I said the construction happening over here was super duper odd was this is not like a remote area. This is, again, a place where tons of people live. There's actually photographs that you can look at right now that showcase how, you know, uh, populated this area can be on any given day. So again, you've got a very tight-knit Jewish community over here, a very tight-knit Orthodox Jewish community, which again, this is par for the course if you've ever driven through places like this in Brooklyn. Uh, again, these are some of the most closest communities that you can imagine, and obviously, producing a tunnel in amongst all of this has to make some noise. It has to make, has to raise some eyebrows. So I'm kind of wondering how a tunnel actually even got created over here. That's wild. I mean... Unless it's like Alcatraz prison style, where I guess everything was done in complete cloaked in silence, maybe. But it seems kind of wild. So let's actually look at some of the footage from this tunnel. Now, since then, the account from TikTok actually removed that because uh, there was uh, a lot of, I guess, users quote tweeting them with anti-Semitic beliefs. And they removed it to curb the promotion of that, which I understand. This account was the one that released or at least promoted this video of the underground tunnels. And you can see how it looks like a total mess. Uh, there are people brought out this baby stroller in the left side. Uh, it looks like it's tiled as if it is a bathroom, which is representative of the mikvah that allegedly this is located in. And of course, going towards the end, you can see that there is a tunnel, uh, it's kind of like an El Chapo tunnel, uh, that is so poorly built that it feels like at any moment this could have collapsed on somebody during construction. And again, one thing I also want to stress is this is the only account where I've seen this video shown. I did not see this video from a mainstream news source or uh, any fact checker or anything of that nature. This video only exists from this account where I saw it, okay? So again, that doesn't prove that this video is even related to the situation. It could be a different tunnel, who knows? Um, yeah, I figured that until the NYPD or a uh, regulatory body releases like a body cam footage or like an actual exploration, this is, at least from my uh, you know personal belief and sanity, I'm just gonna be putting up as uh, unchecked uh, tunnel. But if this is allegedly that tunnel, then you can just see how unsafe it is. Now, one account here types in, uh, there are no tunnels in 770. Some morons decided to combine a neighboring basement with an existing basement synagogue. Not great, but absolutely not international news. Blowing an episode of vandalism into wild proportions, which I guess brings me to the next part. What is the actual explanation? 
So the Chabad Lubavitch headquarter account actually posted a statement. So the statement is the Chabad Lubavitch community is pained by the vandalism of a group of young agitators who damaged the synagogue below Chabad headquarters at 770 Eastern Parkway Monday night. These odious actions will be investigated and the sanctity of the synagogue will be restored. Our thanks to the New York Police Department for their professionalism and sensitivity. We are grateful for the outpouring of concern. Okay, that's from the chairman rabbi over here. Now, another individual by the name of Mati Seligson, who is the director of media at Chabad, uh, they actually wrote, some time ago, a group of extremist students, so now we went from agitators to extremists, broke through a few walls in adjacent properties to the synagogue at 784, 788 Eastern Parkway to provide them unauthorized access. Earlier today, a cement truck was brought in to repair those walls. Those efforts were disrupted by the extremists who broke through the wall to the synagogue, vandalizing the sanctuary in an effort to preserve their unauthorized access. Now, I've seen the underground, and I wonder why even have the unauthorized access to begin with, but we'll get to that. There have been arrests, they have since been arrested and the building closed, pending a structural safety review. Obviously, like I've been saying the whole time. Lubavitch officials have attempted to gain proper control of the premises through the New York State court system. Unfortunately, despite consistently prevailing in court, the process has dragged on for years. So this is obviously deeply uh, distressing to the Lubavitch movement and the community worldwide, the Jewish community. We hope and pray to be able to expeditiously restore the sanctity and decorum of this holy place. So that's the official explanation uh, explanation that, you know, the Chabad organization gave. And there were a few people looking into when these tunnels were made. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, assumptions that maybe it was made during COVID or something. So we could bypass lockdowns and get access to places of worship. But then there were other situations where people started digging in to other news sources where they discuss this topic. So one from the Yeshiva world, which is posted on January 8, 2024, or maybe updated. But here they actually talked about this entire situation and they discussed the main shul of 770 has long been the subject of a legal dispute between Agudas and Merkos, uh, Lubavitch Incorporated, over who is the rightful owner of the 770-788 Eastern Parkway complex. Bosharim have long had free reign of the main shul, even violently barring some from entering. So it's very territorial about the situation, and uh, it, it, one has to question why. Looking at what was in the tunnels, I am again questioning why specifically. It really seems like where they tunnel to doesn't actually have a proper purpose, and it's not that you can do any purpose there. It's just literally to, I guess, connect the main shul and uh, adjacent buildings, and that's pretty much it. It's not supposed to happen, it's illegal, and whoever did it should absolutely face some consequences. I mean, you literally could have put some fucking lives at risk. I mean, imagine going in one of those tunnels and things just caved down without people realizing you're dead and there's nothing you can do. Your your connection between buildings causes somebody to die. That's just how it works. Now, another organization known as the Crown Heights Info, which I assume is incredibly local news, actually talked about the situation on December 22nd, 2023 which is surprisingly, what, less than three weeks from this entire situation blowing up? And over here, they were talking about how an accidental discovery happened three weeks ago after a series of incidents rang alarm bells within the Geboim of 770. A Union Street homeowner spoke with Crown Heights Info said that they had been hearing suspicious noises at night in their home for a period of time. As the noise continued, the concerned homeowner notified someone of the sounds and their suspicions. So later on throughout this entire situation, they did talk about when they uh, actually uh, heard the, the, the actual um, uh, tunnels being built. So details on the tunnel remain scarce, with some rumors spreading. It appears that a group of you know, young uh, unmarried Jewish men began digging around six months ago in an attempt to expand 770. So again, it just seems like a illegal extension when they really shouldn't have had the illegal extension. Again, I don't know what the construction game in New York City is like. Uh, from what I've heard, New York is basically a patchwork of people playing, uh, you know, uh, the cat and mouse with the building code laws and whatnot. So I don't know if this is a simple case of, you know, somebody trying to basically save themselves a few bucks and just build them their own small tunnel versus getting entire contractors to do this for them 
or whatever reason. But at the end of the day, it comes out that this is just a illegal tunnel built to connect buildings. And based on the footage of the tunnel I've seen, I don't really see anything uh, nefarious necessarily happening, especially when we're just connecting one adjacent building to another adjacent building. But yeah, it's a wild situation that a few people have been talking about on the internet. It's, it's, it's sort of like confused people. You know, a lot of individuals have jumped up bringing up conspiracy theories and whatnot. When in reality, the truth, as always, is usually more mundane than anyone can imagine. The best part about the story is this tunnel was discovered and there was actually city uh, officials that came in to make sure that it's plugged up, okay? And the NYPD was there to make sure potentially anybody, you know, in the future could not die from such a stupid fucking act, okay? This is a dumb situation, and honestly, I hope to understand more about this, okay? It's wild to see some radicalized individuals do stupid stuff like this and put other people in harm's way. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the mystery of the Jewish tunnels in New York, all right? It's uh, it's not that much of a mystery, but it's, it's a wild meme that literally 2024 is just every day something new's happening, okay? One day I'm talking about Epstein docks, the other day I'm talking about... Jewish tunnels, okay? Wild story, but that's all it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully maybe this demystified things. Um, maybe this raised more mysteries and questions to you. Let me know in the comment section below. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.